So as you guys know, I have been trying to build out my sneaker room and my office. And I got two different levitating shoe displays here in the middle today. I got a black version and a white version to match with each of the rooms. So let's see what these things look like. Let's put them to the test and see if it's actually worth the money. Welcome back to the channel. What's up with you guys? How you doing? How you been? If you did not know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Hey! Now if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification for every time I upload a new video, and don't forget to hit that like button because that helps the algorithm oh so much. And with all that being said, let's talk about these shoe displays. I'm gonna open one first, go through the process of setting it up, and then we'll get the other one set up, see if it actually works, check out the lights, do all the different things, and see if it's worth the cop. So this box came inside of a shipping box, but this is the packaging that actually comes with the display. So let's go ahead and slide the top off. It's a little stiff, but it's gonna come off, just give me a second. All right, there we go. So now that we got the top off, we got an initial layer of foam right here. Looks like we have the instructions for it. We have a remote right here where you can change the colors as well. That's pretty dope. There's a small little black baggie right here with some metal balls. I'm assuming these are for weights to weigh down the shoe to keep it properly weighted and everything. So probably gonna need those. Inside this white box, what do we have? This is the plug-in that goes to the wall. And right here we have the actual magnet that goes inside of the shoe to connect to the levitator. And last but not least, we have the actual levitating machine right here. So let me get the plastic off of it first, see which side is right side up, and then kind of go from there. So by the looks of it, this is the bottom of it because we have the power switch and the outlet in right here. So let's go ahead and get this thing plugged up and put it to action. So we got it plugged in and one of the shoes that I'm going to be using today is a black and gold patent leather high top one right here. As you guys know, if you haven't seen, go ahead and check out the review if you don't know much about this sneaker. But this is actually a size 14 and as you can see, it still fits in here which is still going to work. So if you have a bigger foot like me, you're still going to be able to have your shoe levitating which is a dope feature because I know a lot of people with big feet always have a struggle when it comes to displaying their sneakers because it doesn't fit or something like that so that's why I wanted to make sure that we try to size 14 in here just to make sure it works so the first thing I'm going to do is hit the power right here as you can see it's lighting up so I'm gonna check this remote out so you got a little plastic piece right here to take the battery out and get that working let's see if it changes colors okay we got different colors right here different tones oh this is kind of dope there's actually a lot of different options you got like five different color options per there's like 15 different color options you got a, a flash with different colors. You got a slow strobe, a fade, smooth. Oh yeah, white. This is fire. Yeah, this is low key dope. This is way better than the other one that I have. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is stick the magnet facing upward inside the shoe right here. And then we're gonna try to get this to float and see if it works. All right, so the shoe is floating and I can hear something but it's not nothing too loud. The other one that I have, there's like a fan and it blows really, really loud on it. That's why I don't really like that one that much. This one's actually way more quiet and I really appreciate that because if you got the shoe going in the background and it's just like the whole time, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna turn it a little bit. I think the fan might push it itself, see how it goes. We're looking real good right now. I'm liking this. So we got this one set up and working really well. I'm already loving it. I love the fact that there's so many more colors on this one as well. The other one that I had is just like a white light and it just, you can't really do much, but just have it looking like that. You know what I'm saying? This one, you could like set different colors and different stuff like that. So I'm excited to see what the black one looks like as well. As you know, both of my sneaker rooms, one has a white tone to it. Another one has a black tone to it. So I'm excited to get these set up in both of the rooms and see what they look like. So I'm assuming it's all the same stuff with this one. Pretty simple, you got your manual, you got your little bit of marbles right here, you got your magnet, you got your outlet, everything's the same, so just a different color. This one I'm gonna use an Air Jordan 5 on this one. A little bit, kind of a bulkier shoe in some parts of it, but the high top one is a pretty bulky shoe too, so I feel like they're kind of the same, but I think they definitely do have different weights to them. So the fact that this doesn't have a knob on it where you have to like adjust it to make it fit the right weight and all that extra stuff and you can literally just set it up there and go, that's clutch because the other one you gotta like do all this extra work and I don't like that. This is very simple, easy to go, just literally set up and run, I like that. Upside down. <laughs> As you can see, 
same concept with this one. Let me pull the little plastic piece out. And uh, we got different colors. Do all that stuff. What the white, get the flash. Yeah, it looks like we're good. They're like sunk. Are they sunk together? That's fire. Just hit the button and it all goes the same. That's dope. Okay. Uh, let's get the shoe. Let's set this thing up. So this one is the off Y5. If you don't know about these, again, check out the review. Probably have the link down below or a post for it up here at the top or something like that. But yeah, I think this is a good display shoe as well. Let's get this thing set up real quick. And we're rolling. See, this is fire. And the reason why I'm saying this is so dope because like I said before, the other one, I had to like adjust the knob and make sure it fit just perfectly. And it took me like literally initially when I first did it, it took me like five minutes just to get this to go. And right here, as you can see, it took me like 30 seconds to do it. So that alone with the headache and all the stuff that comes along with it, very convenient. I'm gonna hit the power on this real quick and see what happens. So it just pulls it directly up. Okay. So look, if I just start it and then look, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. You see what I'm saying? Look at that. That's clutch. So let's go ahead and check these things out in the room, see what they look like. And then uh, I'll give you guys my final verdict at the end. But as of right now, I'm digging these. Okay, so we got it all set up right here and I am loving it. This thing looks dope. I love the way how it switches colors. And it's dope how I could just push the button and switch the color and now it just matches with my cases as well. So if I wanted to switch this to red and then I wanted to switch my cases to red, as you can see right here, everything could be matching. So I think that's a dope little touch. If I wanted to switch it to blue, switch it to blue. I think that new addition to the room is definitely gonna upgrade it just a little bit more and I'm really liking it. So here's another look at the black one in my sneaker room right here. I'm enjoying having this one in here because obviously we got the black tones in one color and the white tones in the other. So this one matches really well. To have the addition of color as well in the background is gonna be a dope touch. Not exactly sure where the exact place for this will be, but I do know it's going up in here somewhere. So overall, at the end of the day, I think this thing is a cop. I'm excited to have both of these in both of my sneaker rooms. If you guys wanna get one as well, I made sure you got a discount code as well. So make sure you use the discount code DNA Show, and that will get you additional $30 off of your next purchase. The link is down below in the description. So go ahead and check them out and let me know what you think. And don't forget to tag me on Instagram as well once you get yours in the mail. I wanna see what it looks like in your room too. So that's gonna do it for this video. I'm excited to see you guys in the next video. We got a lot of cool stuff coming this week. Week. So I'm excited to show you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out Yo, if you enjoyed this video and you want to make extra money or grow your shoe collection I want to give you a free video with my three tips that were the most powerful that will help you grow your sneaker collection and make an additional $1,000 to $10,000 a month. All you need to do to get this free video is click on the first link in the description or the comment that's pinned in the comment section. That'll take you to a page where you can enter your email address and I'll make sure that I send you a video right away. And if you enjoyed this video, again, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. My name is DJ, I'm signing out. I gots to go, I'm gone, peace.